Hi, so I thought I'd share with you the gallery of roses in my phone, actually, that I grew last summer. Now, I'm not a actually green thumb. I don't know very much about gardening. I'm not a rose expert, but I started growing them a few years ago, and I absolutely adore roses. And I really love beautiful colored pastel roses as opposed to red roses. So let me get started by showing you my rose bushes that actually I grew last summer. Hopefully the same roses will be coming back this year. Most of them are antique roses and they come from the Antique Rose Emporium all the way in Texas and were shipped to me here in New York. So the first one is called Drop Dead Red. Now, I told you I don't like red roses, but this particular color red I do like because it's almost orangey in color. This is my actual English rose garden. That's the style I'm trying to get from my yard. And back here we have Molly New, which is a David Austin rose, and it's English. And it has a beautiful peachy colored yellow rose. The yellow ones to the left are Sunshine Daydream. And the ones to the right are Sunshine Daydream. And this is, I forgot the name of it. The pink and yellow one is Double Something. I forgot the name. I actually shovel pruned this pink and yellow rose today from my garden when I was actually planting things because it did not come back very nicely this year. It looked pretty dead. Again, I took multiple photos of these two rose bushes entwined into each other last year. I like it when the two different colors mingle. And again, it's the yellow ones of Sunshine Daydream. And the pink and yellow ones are called Double, not Double Trouble. I don't know why I have that name in my head. Double something. <laughs> if I remember, I'll write in the description below. Back here again, we have our English roses, which are called Molly New. And they came from the Antique Rose Emporium in Texas. Here's Molly New again. Again. <laughs> Again, and again, um, the Molly New is a beautiful, beautiful color. They come in sometimes very, very pale yellow and pink, and then they mature to almost a salmony pink and yellow color. Look at some of these blooms, how gorgeous they were last summer. Again, this is Molly New. And he has a less mature version below it, which is a different color. It's lighter. And we have more Molly New. I love antique roses for their shape and the amount of petals they have. And the colors are just bar none. Here's Molly New again. Look at these colors. Again, we have Molly New. I can't just take one photo. I have to take five million. This is Sunshine Daydream, and this is actually not an antique rose. This one is, I believe, a hybrid tea, Floribunda, and it makes the most beautiful colored yellow roses that are like pale and lemony. And the flower blooms are huge. They're enormous. This is Molly New again. That rose bush did absolutely phenomenal in my garden. I hope it comes back this year. I don't know if it will. This is actually Marcella Bocella. It's actually also known as Jacques Cartier. So it pretty much, there's, there's some kind of controversy going on about the name, but I believe this particular rose was cultivated and created in about 1868. And this came from the Antique Rose Emporium. It's a beautiful, very, very pale pink petal rose. And here it is again. 
The only problem with this rose is, is, is that it does not, it's stingy. The blooms are stingy. So only a few come out at a time and they blow quick. And when I say blow, the petals fall off very, very fast. They last no more than a day or two. This one is Madame Caroline Test Out, which is another antique rose. It's almost bubblegum pink. And it's from actually 1890, I believe. This is uh, the Rose of Portland, Oregon. They In the 1890s, they actually planted these everywhere along the sidewalks of Portland. And it, they are still there to this day, growing all over the city. Here's another Madame Caroline test out. And another. It's that lovely bubblegum pink. The blooms are just so pretty. And this one is the gift that keeps on giving. This is my best rose bush. And I've had this rose bush for the past six years. And it is my biggest my most largest and my most actually prolific rose in my garden. And here it is again. Look at that. And here's some more. I never ever have any problems with this rose bush. I highly recommend it. And I'm showing you a crystal with roses in the background. So thank you so much for watching my gallery of rose photos. I really appreciate you joining me and hopefully this summer all these beautiful roses will come back and come back even more prolific. Thanks so much for watching.